Martin Brundle's career almost came to an end at the 1984 Dallas Grand Prix. A puncture sent him crashing into a concrete barrier, breaking both his ankles and feet. American surgeons were preparing to amputate, but legendary F1 doctor Professor Sid Watkins transferred Brundle to a London clinic, saving both his feet and his career. Brundle fought back and fulfilled a lengthy career, driving for the likes of Brabham, Benetton, McLaren and Jordan. Qualifying for the 2009 Hungarian Grand Prix saw a spring detach itself from the rear suspension of Rubens Barrichello's Braun and hit Felipe Massa, who was travelling at 170 miles an hour. The metal spring knocked him unconscious and fractured his skull, ruling him out for the remainder of the 2009 season. Massa returned with Ferrari for 2010 and would remain in the sport for another eight seasons. Gerhard Berger suffered a broken neck following a serious road accident in the winter of 1984, in which the Austrian was thrown through his car window and landing in a river. Remarkably, the car following at the time was occupied by two doctors, who diagnosed his broken neck and immediately gave him life-saving drugs from the boot of their car. Following innovative surgery for the time, Berger made a strong recovery and would go on to claim 10 race wins and 48 podium finishes during his Formula One career. Mika Hakkinen's scariest Formula One moment came in qualifying for the 1995 Australian Grand Prix. A delaminating rear left tyre caused Hakkinen to lose control of his McLaren, brutally smashing him into a concrete wall and knocking him out. Emergency workers and Professor Sid Watkins performed a trackside tracheotomy that undoubtedly saved his life. And despite the psychological impact this would have had on the Finn, Hakkinen felt strong enough to return for 1996 and would go on to win back-to-back -back driver's titles in 1998 and 1999. In the late 1980s, a young Johnny Herbert was gaining interest from F1's biggest teams as he worked his way through the lower formula. But in 1988, he was involved in a sickening Formula 3000 crash at Brands Hatch where his legs took the full force of a shunt with the barriers, leaving him with multiple fractures. After a few months of painful rehabilitation, Herbert was somehow able to drive again and started the 1989 season with an incredible fourth place finish for Benetton, just three seconds behind second placed Alain Prost, despite barely being able to walk. While practicing for a sports car race in 1965, John Surtees suffered a life-threatening accident that left the Briton with a smashed femur, split pelvis, and one side of his body four inches shorter than the other. As Surtees turned into a corner, the front suspension suddenly broke, and he smashed into a guardrail. A surgeon literally pulled Surtees back into shape, and by the start of 1966, he was ready to resume racing, winning the second round of the season in Belgium by a full 42 seconds. Michael Schumacher suffered one of a driver's biggest fears in 1999 as his Ferrari's brakes failed on the opening lap of the British Grand Prix. The German went straight into the barriers at Stowe Corner and he was forced to sit out six races with a broken leg. But Schumacher responded in the only way he could and he took pole position by almost a full second on his comeback race in Malaysia. The following year he would go on to claim the first of five straight drivers' championships for Ferrari. Ahead of the non-championship 1952 Grand Prix of Italy, Juan Manuel Fangio was travelling back from a road race in Northern Ireland and arrived at Monza just 30 minutes before the race started. The Argentine was visibly tired and just two laps into the race clipped an inside kerb and somersaulted off the circuit. His neck and back were broken and his season was over. Returning to fitness in 1953, he took a race win before claiming four straight championships from 1954 to 1957 to become the sport's first five-time world champion. After looking fast in pre-season testing, Robert Kubica suffered a serious crash in the 2011 Ronde di Andorra rally, in which his right forearm was partially severed. It seemed his F1 career was over, but his hard work and determination to return was incredible. And in June 2017, six years after his accident, 
Robert was back behind the wheel of a Formula One car as he tested once again for Renault. And now, ready to compete once again, the Williams team have given him a full-time return for 2019 as Formula One welcomes back a true inspiration. Nicky Lauda was engulfed in flames following a horrific incident at the Nürburgring in 1976. In tricky conditions, the Austrian's car twitched through a fast left-hander and speared right into the barriers, causing the Ferrari's fuel tank to rupture. Eventually pulled from his car, Lauda spent a month recovering in hospital, having his burns treated and lungs vacuumed. He missed the next two rounds, but incredibly returned to fight for the championship, still in considerable pain at the Italian Grand Prix. And he finished an excellent fourth. Lauda would famously miss out on the title by just a single point to James Hunt, following his decision to retire the car in Fuji. But he won the grand prize for a second time in 1977, and a third in 1984. Truly the sport's most incredible comeback story.